Welcome to Bathroom Book Reviews, where I review books in my bathroom bi-weekly. Hey, it's CJ, and today's book review is How to Grow Old by Cicero. Okay, so this is the first non-fiction book that I am reviewing, and it is, you know, Cicero. I'm a big history buff, and I love um, the ancient Rome in the fall of the Republic, so late Republican times, so like Cicero, Julius Caesar, um, Pompey, those kind of characters and actors um, during that time. But yeah, Marcus Tullius Cicero, I think everybody should read him. He just gives amazing advice. And this uh, translation I got is by Philip Freeman. He uh, did a fantastic job, in my opinion. I don't read Latin, but from what I get from this, it's pretty good. And it's kind of like the Beowulf book, in a sense, because I'm just going to show you page. On one side here is the original Latin text, and then on the other side you have the English translation, which I absolutely love the side-by-side. -side. And there's just some really great advice. Even if you're young like me, you know, early 20s, and maybe even your teens or in high school or something, it's a pretty short book. So, yeah, even with it, it's probably around, I don't know, 80 pages to 100 it's pretty short. You can read this easily two, three days if you're a slow reader, which I am. I'm a pretty slow reader, and I read it, you know, like I said, two, three days. It just does give you a lot of practical life advice. And, you know, as you get older, the more times you reread the book, the more wisdom you'll get out of it. And I'll probably review a couple other books by Cicero at some point, but I think everybody really should read Cicero because of just how awesome he is. And... He's like, the older you get, you know, it'll change. You'll change and you'll be like, okay, I enjoyed this stuff in my youth. But, you know, now that I'm older, I don't enjoy it as much. Here's why I don't enjoy it. And here's why I enjoy other things now. I'm relieved of the burdens of my youth. And I love, you know, that I'm getting older. And he does give an interesting uh, point in the book. You know, it's kind of like how some people, you know, we see them as like, oh, they're getting older, they're getting more bitter in some aspects to certain people sometimes. And he's just saying, you know, when people get older and if they become bitter, that's not a symptom of age, that, that's more of a symptom of character. Just to give an example from the book. So it's like, it's kind of just your outlook on life. I mean, I know Cicero, he dabbled in a couple different philosophies. He's not... He kind of created his own thing, but he does uh, take off a different, couple different schools of philosophies. But anyways, I really recommend How to Grow Old by Marcus Tullius Cicero, translated and with an introduction by Philip Freeman. If you can, get this book. Um, I got it at Barnes & Noble, but I believe it's sold on Amazon, and in certain Barnes & Nobles it might still be available. So I'm going to give this book a uh, 5 out of 5 because it's just so practical and it's a very fast read. I mean, you wouldn't think something that's over 2,000 years old, you'd be like, oh man, this is going to be dry and boring, but, you know, once you really get into it, after the first, like, just couple pages, it just keeps on going with the advice, and it's just super cool. Five out of five. Um, if you've read Cicero before, or if you have any other ancient authors you've read, let me know in the comments. And if you want me to review any specific books by Cicero, let me know that too, and I might get to that eventually. So, um, hope you enjoyed today's uh, video, and stay creative.